Hello and welcome. Today I will tell you the good things and the bad things about the Xiaomi Mi 9 after using it for almost two months. Currently this is my main and only phone and I use this phone every day and I can tell you a few things about it already. After about two months I installed all my favorite apps here, everything is set up how I want it. Um, the speed of the phone is pretty good, it's really good actually compared to my old phone. So if you're worried about slow speed, don't worry about that the speed is great also the fingerprint sensor in the screen unlocks sometimes a little slower if you don't put it in the exact in the, in the right place but you will get used to it and this is one of the strong points actually of the phone that it will unlock really fast in this way another strong point of this phone is the display which is really beautiful it's um, the size is 6.39 inch a Samsung AMOLED display it's a full HD but it really good looks good the camera of the phone is a Sony sensor and it has triple lens which you are doing really well you have the option to use a wide mode ultra wide mode and a telephoto mode and uh, it also has the flash like any other phone so this is pretty pretty good being three separate lenses, you have a really good quality in each mode. And also the video features of this phone are pretty good. You can film 4K UHD in 60 frames per second and you can even encode it in H.265 which is uh, taking a lot less space than H.264. So that's uh, one of my favorites actually. And uh, you have the mode to do slow motion. The slow motion video is also really working well. Um, it's, uh, it's nice that it's available there. But you see, uh, that's the sound and the microphone. No headphone jack. What happened to the headphone jack? I knew it didn't have a headphone jack when I got it, but I didn't think I would really miss it so much. A few times I was in a position where I wanted to try some headphones in a store and just realized I took the phone out and realized that I couldn't, I couldn't try them. A major problem is the brightness of the screen in low light, very low light, goes all the way there to that point. When you're in low light you you think you will see this but it's not really easy to see. So Xiaomi or Google, I don't know which one is responsible for this, please fix this. Xiaomi, please find a way to fix this. It's really important to be able to have a decent brightness in low light. There is a minimum brightness in night mode uh, setting but I, I doesn't seem to do anything. I don't know why. Also, when I try to use the phone with one hand, sometimes I press on the left side or the right side depending on which hand I use. I press by mistake on that side of the screen there. So try to know about this when you use the phone so you don't press some keys by mistake. Look what happens with the white mode. I just pressed it by mistake there. You see? Okay, it's not a big deal. You can use the phone with two hands or just hold it in a way that you will not press it like that. But I guess I just have to get used to phones with a very thin bezels. And in many cases, this is a good thing. I'll get used to it, I guess. Another problem is, which is really strange, when I have the phone in my uh, pants, in my pocket, my front pocket in the jeans or any pants, uh, it moves slightly and sometimes I find the phone like I was trying to enter the password too many times and it's locked temporarily, which is pretty strange because then I won't be able to use the phone immediately, it means something like a few minutes. And what happens is I think it thinks I'm pressing the screen like something like this and sometimes even there is the camera. I don't know if I forget to lock it or something happens. But sometimes the phone takes pictures in my pocket. I've had these pictures from the pocket. With my old iPhone, I never had this before. Okay, I can delete the pictures and uh, also there is an option to put the phone with the screen pointing outwards from the pocket. But uh, it's better not to do that because if you hit something with your uh, leg, then you hit it with the screen. So it's better to uh, hit it on the other side. Also the 48 megapixel camera, it's um, really making it really sharp, the image is very sharp and a lot of noise reduction, so I don't think you will have a DSLR or a mirrorless camera in your pocket. Um, 
it's still a phone but for for what it is the quality is pretty pretty good so that's the phone like uh, if you see you put it on the table it, it wobbles a bit because the camera is coming out and I got a new case because the case the original case of the phone does not um, doesn't uh, cover the cameras and I didn't like to put it down on the camera but this is a really Chinese case it's not very straight it kind of protects it a little bit but I'm not really sure I think I will get another one just to be sure but you have to keep in mind that you will need a new case yeah, the um, included um, TPU polyurethane case it's not really gonna protect the cameras at all and overall the phone is really good it has a few bad things uh, and the, here for example we should have a memory card this would be really nice to have a memory card maybe in the new version the is Xiaomi Mi 9T or transparent edition coming up pretty soon hopefully I don't know I don't think there will be a memory card but at least a headphone jack I heard some rumors I read some rumors that there will be a headphone jack that would be really nice for who needs a headphone jack I would get that so it would be nice to have a memory card and two nano sim slots so you have dual sim and the memory card to use all three at the same time usually Xiaomi they they use you can use either a memory card and the nano sim or two nano sims it's better to be able to use all three the communication uh, Wi-Fi and 4G they work pretty well I've been in a few countries with this phone and it works flawlessly there is no problem with uh, mobile internet and uh, Wi-Fi you can even use um, VPN if you have it and if you use it overall the phone is it's really really worth its money the price it's it's amazing for what this phone can do you can take great pictures you can make really slow motion videos really high quality 4k videos and the price is it's great it depends on each country this is the global version i have and i will put links in the description where you can find your uh, phone locally and also this when you purchase from amazon from those links it helps us think the battery is only 3300 milliampere hours which is pretty weak for a phone like this but somehow I use it normally and I can use it for a whole day without any problems it would be nice to have at least 4000 I hope you enjoyed the video and let me know in the comments how you find the phone if you got this phone or if you got another one and uh, let me know if you, if you have any comments about it or if you have any questions about how it works. Subscribe, like and share and I will see you next time. Bye.